How to get Wii games on iOS upscaled resolution at 60 FPS without a jailbreak. Works on many iPhones and iPads using Xbox, PlayStation, or MFI controllers. Requirements. A Mac or PC. iOS device with A9 chip or newer. Need iOS 13.4.1 or lower. 13.5 and above break this workaround without a jailbreak. Do not install iOS 14. You will need ROM files either from ripping or <coughs> other, other ways. For both Windows and Mac, we're going to need the Alt Store or the alternative app store for iOS devices. Once you've installed the Alt Store zip file, you're going to want to unpack it and then drag it into applications for Mac OS. For Windows, you will do the same thing except you're just going to open the setup.exe and it's pretty easy from there. Plug in our iDevice and click Trust if asked to do so. Once our device is synced over cable, on both Windows and Mac OS, we can click Sync this device over Wi-Fi to connect over Wi-Fi. Open Alt Store and Apple Mail. Go to Mail, Preferences, and Manage Plugins. In Alt Store, click Install Mail Plugin. It will ask you for your password. To install the Mail Plugin, enter your password, and then go back to Mail Preferences, and we're going to then select the plugin and restart mail. Now Alt Store is ready to install apps on your iOS device and will attempt to re-sign the apps every seven days. In the menu bar, click Alt Store and then click Install Alt Store. This will install it on our device. It will ask for your Apple ID and password. This is because Apple requires your account to sign apps to your iOS device outside of the App Store. Apple will ask for your Apple ID and password because it requires this for you to put apps on your device that you're supposedly testing, but this workaround allows you to put any app you want. However, AltStore does not see this password and Apple ID, and you can check the code for yourself or create an, an alternate Apple ID account if you don't feel comfortable. Once AltStore is installed, we're going to go to General, Device Management, and then we're going to click Trust on our profile. Go to the Dolphin iOS website and download the IPA file to your file browser. Tap the plus button on the top left to add the IPA file that we just downloaded. If both devices are on Wi-Fi and Alt Store is opened, and in the case of the Mac, Mail is open, then it should install Dolphin iOS. Go ahead and open up Dolphin iOS, and with your Wii ROMs installed, click the plus button, and then add all your games, and then you can go ahead and start playing. And just like that, you're playing Wii games at 60fps on your iPhone or iPad, all the way back to the 6S, and you can use controllers like for PS4, Xbox, or MFI, and you can even play with multiple people at once in the same game. There are tons of games out there and guides and other videos and FAQs to find anything you are looking for or any help you may need, as well as multiple customization options and all kinds of things you can do with this, it's pretty insane. There's also GameCube emulation in this, as well as the Alt Store, you can sign other apps, not just this, you can emulate other types of game consoles as well, uh, and use controllers, it's pretty easy um, if you think about it compared to just jailbreaking. So, that's pretty much it, hope you enjoy and go play some new games. Also, I'm not sure, but I think you can go down from iOS 14 to 13. There are lots of problems with iOS 14, and you can't use this exploit right now, If you, so you're going to have to wait a long time for anyone to figure anything out. So I recommend you go back downgrading, or don't get iOS 14. And thanks for watching.